Hello and welcome to a quick After Effects tutorial um, about making a tentacle rig similar to this one which I posted up last week and quite a few people have been asking about whether or not you need special plugins to make something like this or or um, can you do it just with standard After Effects uh, and the answer is yes you can um, it just uses a, a couple of expressions and a couple of shape layers so let's make one here we are in After Effects and the first thing we're going to need is our shape that's going to drive the tentacle um, so we're going to make a new shape layer and inside here we need to create a path to contain our, our driver curve so grab the pen tool draw out the path um, I find three points plus the bezier handles works quite well. Any more than that, and you can it can become awkward when you're animating too many points to keep track of. Um, you can always add more later, but I find this is a decent starting point. Okay, so what we need next is we need to draw that tapered outline that encloses this path um, to create the shape of our tentacle. And the way we're going to do that is, <coughs> first of all, we're going to sample points along this path and then we're going to offset away from it along the, the normal of the curve. Now the curve normal is a, a vector which points directly perpendicular from any point on the curve. So if we add a quick beam effect to this. Uh, let me also add a quick stroke to this one so that we can see it when it's not selected. So the beam effect is going to illustrate our normal as well as providing some 80s flair to this tutorial. Okay, so if you imagine a line pointing out at 90 degrees making a right angle against the point on the curve that we're interested in. <coughs> that would be our normal. Now when we request a normal it usually comes in with a length of 1 which in, in After Effects transla translates to 1 pixel um, which isn't really going to be enough of an offset for us so what we're going to need to do is multiply that vector by a, a scale factor and that will allow us to push our points away from the curve and as this curve updates the normal will orient itself appropriately so that you know our points stay conformed to the the core shape okay so we're going to rename this one driver as that's going to be our, our base and then we're going to need another shape layer to um, to hold our actual tentacle outline and then in here when we're going to add a path again but this time instead of drawing out a path with the pen tool we want to create a path using an expression so if we alt click on the stopwatch here and initially we'll just grab the default um, create path expression which you can find in this little arrow in the path property menu right down at the bottom here create path if you grab that and um, evaluate you'll just get this default square path um, and the reason we're getting a square is because we've got a list in here of points we've got a list of four coordinates which correspond to the corner each corner of the square so what we're going to do is hijack that list and supply our own list of points um, in order to draw our outline around this this core shape so let's start by getting rid of this entire list and we're going to replace it with our variable name, which is going to be plist. We'll create that up here as an empty list. So we're going to start by making our first point. Now what we want is we want to get the starting point of the curve. And then we want to add to it the normal at the, of the curve at that point, multiplied by the thickness of our tentacle. So we're actually going to need a thickness variable as well. Say 100 to start with. 
and we're also going to need a reference to the path within the driver shape so don't worry about this error it's just because our list is still empty at the moment so we want to twirl down until we can see the path within the driver layer just scoot this up a little bit and in our path variable we're going to pick whip down to our driver path it means that we don't have to type all of this in every time we want to talk about this path so our first point like we said is going to be the um the, the coordinate at zero percent along the path and the, the way we get that is by asking for path dot point on path and then we give it the percentage along the path which for our first point is going to be zero so that will get us that point there now we want to add the normal to it but we, before we add the normal we want to multiply it by our thickness so in some parentheses we're going to grab the path dot normal on path again at zero percent and we want to multiply that by thickness so that will give us the point offset it by a hundred times our normal okay so what we're going to do is incrementally move along the path adding these points so if we copy it now we need a comma on the end and then we can copy this one down and this time we're going to go in the up point two, or point two. And because we want to taper our tentacle, we don't want to add the whole of the thickness. We want to decrease the multiplier slightly. So under here, we're going to go times point, uh, point eight. Okay, copy this one down just keep going in increments of point 0.2 so adding point 0.2 in here and in here and removing point 0.2 in here keep going down and for our final point at the end we want to sit right on the tip of the curve so we're not going to bother with any of the um, the normals we're just going to grab this guy and the percentage is going to be one and that's the point oops that's going to give us this point right on the the end of our path so that what we've done with what we've actually done is the underside of the tentacle here right to the point and then we need to come back the other way so we're going to need to copy all of these put those in underneath in fact let me make a bit more room for the expression it's getting kind of long And so for the web back up, we're going to reverse the order of these. So this will be 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and we want to instead of multiplying by thickness this time, we want the negative of the thickness because we want to push it in the opposite direction. So 0 0.6, 0 0.6 multiplied by thickness times negative. Four. In fact, this one should have been multiplied by thickness times negative point two. Sorry about that. Uh, point four, point four, point six. That one's correct. Point two. Point two, point eight. In fact, this wasn't correct. It needs to be negative point six, negative point eight, and then this one at the end would be 
zero, zero, and we're just going to multiply it by negative thickness. And then assuming we don't have any errors, which we probably will, this should work. Yes, okay, so we have our points drawn around our driver curve. And if we manipulate this, oh, hang on, we need a little stroke on this one. Let's go for a fill. And then if we manipulate the driver curve, we should see our tentacle following along. Awesome. Now, one thing you might notice is how janky this outline is because we've not we've not defined bezier points. These are just corners. Um, but luckily, the shape layer has a handy little utility called round corners. So we can add one of those to our shape. Increase this radius, and you should see it all smooth out nicely. So that now, oops, we don't get that jagged effect. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Now, for some of these extra bits that you can see on this version, I basically just duplicated the um, the the base tentacle. So the pink tentacle here is what you would use for the, the kind of the underside and then for the tougher skin on the top I duplicated the shape and instead of offsetting the um, the points on both sides of the curve I only offset them on one so inside your expression here you would offset one of these sets of points but inside the others you would just have the point on path part of the expression you wouldn't add anything to it so your line would go you would follow the driver curve exactly and then come back with the offset same for the little suckers they were just ellipses which are you exactly the same thing you specify a point along the path you multiply the normal at that point to get your offset and then that will allow your little suckers or scales or whatever to to stick to the tentacle so i hope that makes sense and is vaguely interesting to someone out there um i look forward to seeing what anyone comes up with um and yeah let me know what you think leave me a comment uh, if you if this was useful let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more stuff like this in the future um yeah just let me know okay thanks for watching see you soon